computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to use Microsoft OneNote for Office 365 on our computer. Tutorial 12 locate your OneNote file within OneDrive on my computer. Without further ado, let us start the video. So, in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, have access to an account for Microsoft Office 365. Now, this company works with a business. We also need to have access to the OneDrive folder on the Mac. This is not web based, this is within the Mac computer. So, you need to synchronize your OneDrive folder to the Mac computer. So, we can now start this tutorial. Let's now go there down to the dock. Go to Launchpad. Go to the web browser, which is Google Chrome in this case. Now, go to office.com. Make sure you are signed into the account. Go to the left hand side navigation menu. Click on applications, go to all applications, scroll to the bottom to explore all the applications. And now what we can do is go to OneNote as well as OneDrive to locate the file web-based. Once we've done that, we will then minimize Chrome and turn the attention to Finder to locate the files as well as the folder and OneDrive. So let's open up OneNote. Let's also open up OneDrive, let's go to OneNote, click on Computer Science Videos Notes, and we know that this is the file that exists. If we now go to OneDrive, we should see a folder within My Files called Notebooks, and Computer Science Videos hyphen Notes is where the file is located within. So we can now minimize Google Chrome for the moment. Now let's go down to the dock, go to Finder. Go to the favorites sidebar, locate OneDrive hyphen computer science videos, click on this, and there we have notebooks, a folder, which we double click on, and there we have computer science videos notes dot URL. Unfortunately, at the moment, I do not have one note on the Mac computer, which is why we cannot then open this within one note. When I do have that, we will be able to open up the OneNote document within OneNote. So, if I were to click on this, this will take us to the web-based version which we are using on Google Chrome. So, we can now minimize Finder for the moment. Let's now go down to the lock again. Go to Google Chrome. And we can now quit Google Chrome. And so that's all this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.